guys, I always look so crazy at the beginning of these videos. Like, look at my hair. So the first shade I'm gonna use is from the Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival Palette um, with Stacey Marie, and I'm gonna take the shade Basic, start as my transition color. She's just gonna pop it on all over my lid as well to sort of help the, uh, the next color blend a lot better. So from the same palette, I'm gonna take the shade Rowdy and I'm gonna darken up the look. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in with Basic, which was the transition color, and I'm just gonna blend buff that in. Because I've sort of diffused that darker color with the transition shade, I'm just gonna lightly tap a bit more on to deepen it. I'm just gonna keep adding and like blending more till I get the sort of blend that I want because it's like a process. It just you keep like diffusing the colours and then building them up again and then they kind of diffuse themselves. So I'm just gonna keep going until I'm happy with the blend. Then to make it really dramatic and kind of grungy, I'm gonna take a black shadow and now I'm gonna use the Mayron eye powder and this is in black onyx. Um, it's kind of just been destroyed just from like being in my like kit and stuff basically like mush now but it still works really well and this is another really good reason why i've done my eyes first as well because obviously this is going to fall out all over my face and it'll obviously be harder to get rid if you've got foundation on so Tell you what, the Mayron eyeshadow singles are actually really good because they're so pigmented. Like, I'm literally just packing that. It's such a deep black, it's not like a faded one. Okay, so I've packed that on and I'm going to do the exact same thing as I did with the shade before and I'm just going to go back in with the same colours and then I'm going to blend it until I'm happy. Okay, so I think I'm happy with the blend and now I'm going to get rid of all the fallout underneath my eyes because I was going to look like a panda. Just the look trick as well, if sort of the edges that you have are quite harsh, then I sort of tend to go in with the end of a beauty blender, not really with foundation on it, just like the clean part of it. And I just sort of dab it in and it kind of just sort of, it just sort of softens that bit because I know sometimes it can be quite harsh, especially when you're like removing the product. So yeah, I'm just gonna go and dab to sort of soften the corners because I want it a bit more rounded rather than like sharp and precise. So now I'm gonna go on to skin. Um, I'm gonna take a bit of the Essay Lauder Set and Refresh um, Perfecting Mist and I'm just gonna spritz this all over my skin. Okay, so the foundation I'm using is the Essay Lauder Double Wear um, in the shade Tawny. And I'm actually just going to go in a, with a brush today. This is the Real Techniques uh, face brush or something like that. I find this is so good for applying foundation on the skin. Um, obviously, bearing in mind that I actually haven't got any fake tan on at the moment. So obviously this is going to look really, really, really orange <laughs> compared to the rest of my body. I get asked this question whether like a brush or a sponge is better. I don't really know. I have been sort of moods with it. Like sometimes I'll really enjoy using a brush and then other times I just prefer using a beauty blender. Really kind of go in between them both. Necessarily have like a preference. I sort of switch between the two really. I think definitely with a brush you can be like a lot more precise. I am going to go in and do a little bit of cream contouring, so I'm going to take the Revolution um, Makeup Revolution London Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C11 as my contour shade. So then for concealer to highlight, I'm going to take the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in W10. Now this is quite a bright one, so it's going to be like a really bright highlight um, for my, under my eyes. When I apply my powder in a bit, it's going to sort of tone down the brightness of it. So 
So two powders I'm gonna use is the Estee Lauder powder makeup in 3W1 Fawn and then the Beauty Bakery flower powder to um, set my under eyes and sort of bake as well a little bit. Highlight, I'm gonna go um, back into the Be Perfect Carnival palette and I'm gonna take the Sinner shade in this one to use as my highlight. This is such a nice colour in this palette because it's so, it's very like natural looking. Then I'm going to take the Baby Girl Bronzing Powder by MAC Cosmetics and I'm going to use that to warm my skin. For my contour colour, I'm going to go in with the Bronze Goddess Powder in 03 Medium Deep, and my ultimate fave, as you guys will know. Then I'm going to do my brows off camera, and then I'll be right back to do my under eyes. I want a little bit of mascara and some lashes as well and then I'll be back to the lips. So I've just popped on um, lashes. Now I can't actually remember what ones these are because I literally have a drawer that's just full of like lashes that aren't in the correct boxes. So I don't know what the, what lashes these ones are, so sorry. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of inner corner highlight to really kind of make the look pop. In to the Be Perfect Cat palette yet again and I'm gonna take the shade Moony, green sort of tinge to it. For lip colour, I'm going to take um, Estee Lauder Raw Sugar. I'm going to use a spice lip liner with that one. So I'm just going to add a gloss as well. I'm going to take the MAC Twinkle Twink lip gloss. Orangey sort of tone, so I'm only going to use like a little bit of this. I'm just going to sort out my hair and then I'll be right back. Okay, so my hair is done and then I'm just going to take a bit of the Coco Brown um, Golden Goddess Oil and I'm just going to use this on my chest to give it a nice bronzy glow. Cool. Well, it didn't work, did it? The pump's not working, so I'm just going to take a little bit from the actual, like, applicator bit. Not really working either. Add a bit of highlight to my collarbones. I'm just basically all over. Okay guys, so that completes this video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna try my absolute best to post a lot more content for you guys. If there's any suggestions of things that you want to see, do let me know. Um, but yeah, this is a finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I shall see you in my next one.